Welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm at Milton Keynes and I thought I'd stop over at the hugely massive rapid charger center. So, let's take you around to how many they've got. They've got a hell of a lot around here. And I mean, a lot. So, spin you around. There's me on charge. There's three on this side. Two on this side. And then, a further three on this side and Zoe owners will be happy they're all triple heavy chargers with AC fast charging CHAdeMO and CCS so you just tap your polar card and start the charge or use the polar website app to start the charge by there I've signed up to polar for a three month trial because I knew I was coming down to drive to London for my honeymoon and I brought the BM all the way down so in a bit, I'm going to go and visit Milton Keynes Experience Centre, so I'll see you there. Well, I'm at Milton Keynes Experience Centre, and if you've never been here, it's basically just full of EVs. At the moment, I'm sat in an e-Golf. They've got a Renault Zoe over there. They've got a monocoddle shell of an i3 strip back down there and also they've got a BMW i3 in the showroom as well. The Milton Keynes Experience Centre is just a place for you to learn and get more information on EVs. So if you haven't got YouTube or you know, you're not really interested in finding out more videos this way, you can come into a place like this. They offer test drives and various other things. And they're full of knowledgeable staff that know quite a lot about EVs, probably more than me. <laughs> But yeah, it's, uh, it's a really interesting place. It's nice to see a mixture of different cars. They've even got chargers here. They, they offer extended test drives as well. I'm gonna have a word with some of the staff that work here and get a bit more information on that. Little boards of information telling you loads of little things about how long the cars take to charge and you know prices, etc. And then they basically have all the cars here to try out. They've even got an ultra charger to show you what that looks like and then another board here on a, on a Zoe with basically the range charging times and distance and stuff like that which is just simply amazing. I'm here with Ted who uh, is the general manager I presume? Yeah, centre manager, centre however, manager you, however you want to call of it. MK Experience. So as I was saying before they've got different cars choices and stuff like that and you do like a test service where you can sort of like try the car out? Yeah so we've got, we've got two test services so you've got like an on the, on the day kind of test drive so yeah. then we've also got kind of a our longer term um, kind of, I suppose, rentals. Um, I kind of call them experience drives because you get to kind of experience what it's like to drive. Uh, you've got a, a four day and you've got a seven day. Um, and it starts at 50 pounds for four days across all our models. So it's, uh, it's heavily subsidized um, by uh, essentially Milton Keynes Council. So when you take people out on the, the, the like short little test drive, what? What do they, do you just take them, do they just drive the car, do, they, do you go with them, what, what kind of? So like, when we start the, the, um, the test drive off, really what we're doing first, well probably before we've even done the test drive, we're just kind of qualifying people, so understanding kind of what they do, their daily mileage, how often they drive over 150 miles maybe, um, can they charge at home, can they charge at work, um, build a picture of them and then off the back of that, then we'll, we'll recommend some vehicles and, and then potentially go take them out in the short term, um, which then we'll, we'll take them to a couple of different maybe to a rapid charger and a fast charger. Okay, so you showed them how, to, how the chargers work, etc. Yeah, of course. Right. Okay, and you're, you're involved heavily with Chargemaster and Polar here, is that, is that right? Yeah, so yeah, so everyone who works here works for BP Chargemaster. Okay. Um, and BP Chargemaster kind of runs the center itself. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, So it's like BP Chargemaster, Polar, and then manufacturers support all in one. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so which, which manufacturers do you, do you have on board here? So we've got Volkswagen, Kia, BMW and Renault are the four manufacturers on board. Um, now they, uh, they've got obviously all their vehicles here. So we've got the, the Renault Zoe, we have the BMW i3, um, the e-Golf, the e-Up, uh, the Nero Fev. Uh, we will hopefully have the Nero, or well, the e-Nero okay. um, when it arrives. Yeah. Um, your guess is probably as good as mine when that happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, Late, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most likely. Who knows? Okay. Have you? Are you? I presume you've got the Hyundai Kona then as well, or? No. So Hyundai aren't our partner. So okay. um, it's only our partner vehicles that we do have. Oh, okay. You got Kia. Uh, sorry, but not Hyundai. Yeah. Okay. 
but no, it's, <laughs> it's still good. Yeah, no, it's, 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 but you've got you've got Fevs as well as as well as uh, full EVs. Yep, so okay. we've got Fevs as well. Oh, um, nice. We are kind of predominantly more Bev here. Yeah, um, but we we do have well, we've, we've the only Nero the Nero is the only kind of Fev we have at the at present. Yeah, uh, but who knows what will be in the future? And I presume that you you get the the lovely myth questions of uh, oh, do any of these do three hundred mile range? Any three hundred mile range? <laughs> yeah, we, we get a lot of people coming and telling us how they need to go to Scotland very, very regularly, yeah. um, or Devon. It's, it's one of the two. Um, but yeah, I think obviously that's that's kind of what we're, we're good at trying to do is trying to understand kind of. Well, I suppose that you you see it a lot yourself. Yeah. It's just that kind of asking people like really what what how many miles do they actually drive in a day? And yeah. So so I, I presume in a way you're almost they're almost sales trained here in a way because when you kind of have that argument with someone about 300 miles, you, you kind of, you've got to be a bit wit clever about it because otherwise people think you're arguing with them and they just shut down instantly. So you, you, need to have, you need to be pretty sort of savvy to sort of get that across to them. Yeah, I think the key there is just putting yourself in, in the other person's perspective yeah. and, and, and trying to understand where, where are they coming from because that then allows you to kind of start to kind of, I suppose, hopefully kind of see what they're saying and hopefully be able to get them to kind of come back towards what you kind of, well, the kind of the reality of the matter is we probably don't need to drive 300 miles in one go and yeah. not many people do that in a day. Right, and you, you don't, they don't, none of the cars here for sale, you refer back to manufacturer, is that correct? Yeah, so we can't, I suppose that's probably the, 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 the first thing to say really, we, we don't sell any vehicles here. Uh, the only thing we do sell is obviously this kind of, the, this subsidized long-term loan kind of experience. Um, obviously people when they go out for a test drive if you do kind of opt in for the manufacturer to get in contact with you yeah the manufacturer will get in contact yeah. with you but if you don't want them to they, they don't get in contact yeah. with you I suppose that that's the advantage you've got rather than going into in, into say a Renault showroom or a Volkswagen showroom instead of them telling you that all the other EVs are, are rubbish you've got this thing where you're talking about all EVs and you're comparing what's best for the use case for that customer rather than sort of saying this brand's better than this brand you're, you're giving them a fair, honest companion of all the EVs that, you, that you've got on offer. Yeah, definitely. We're not here to tell people what's the best vehicle. But yeah. We're here to kind of promote the right concept, the right concept for the right for the, that person, really. So it's whether that is Bev, whether that is uh, Fev, or if, to be honest, if someone's doing 350 miles a day and they have a, five people in their family and two dogs, well. we'll We'll tell them that probably at the moment you, you might off be better off with being in a nice vehicle. Um, so it's about making sure people go into the right vehicle, that choice. Obviously, it's less and less that we need to tell people that they would potentially need need a nice vehicle. Obviously, we want people to go into BEVs, but as as the ranges are increasing, it's making it easier for us to kind of always find a, a suitable option there. Okay, and, and when you're showing someone a Fev, I presume do you give them the kind of the the lesson of not hogging rapids, using the rapids all the time, and make, making sure that the rapids are available for full bevs rather than just I suppose yeah we, we will go and go through that but I think predominantly that is maybe for a conversation kind of later on where yeah. I think it's more about making sure people understand how they how, how they the work. charger works yeah and obviously we'll go over the over the point that obviously the the rapid chargers don't don't charge the fevs well okay you've got the outlander in yeah, there yeah the outlander is um, a bit of a subcategory there but but you don't charge them. Um, you, you're not using the uh, the ultra charger um, to its full capacity. So we'll explain that. Um, it's, it's a tricky one. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. I've just used the uh, MK hub down the road, the new hub. It's absolutely great. Just it's nice to go somewhere. Where it's all like a petrol station. It's all lit up. It's covered from rain. And just tapping the polar card and starting the charger. It's just probably one of the easiest charging networks I've ever used. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, no, I think that's what we're trying to do. Like, and obviously if anybody is kind of coming through Milton Keynes, please please uh, use the charging hub and pop in and say hello to, say hello to us. Yeah, which is exactly what I've done. I'm on the way to Heathrow, so I thought, stop there to the charging hub just to get a boost. I'm now parked outside the Milton Keynes exp uh, shopping centre, which is just littered in polar chargers. I, 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 in fact, not, most of some of the posts aren't even uh, tarmac for charging only, are they? Because there's just literally so many of them. We're quite lucky, Milton Keynes. I think we've got we've got over 60 rapid chargers. Um, we've got over uh, 200, and, it's about 250 fast chargers throughout Milton Keynes. Um, and actually, the rapid charging 
layout means that you're never more than about a mile from a rapid charge as well so that the whole of the city is is relatively covered so we're, we're yeah we're, we're very lucky here yeah it, it, when you zoom out on the map you, you see it on plug share or polar's app it's just a cluster of it charges it's probably the most largest cluster of charges i've seen apart from Dun, dundee's probably about the nearest to milton Keynes, i think yeah I, I, it, it, it's we're, crazy we're, we're, it's phenomenal really yeah. so yeah we're, we're very lucky in that sense yeah. which is if you if you're coming down for fully charged uh, later on in the year we're all staying in uh, Milton Keynes hub okay. up the road and if you if that's what if you're coming to Silverstone and you're going to come for two or three days I advise you to park up around here visit the guys in here possibly try what do you need to tr do the test drive driving license I presume driving license and a DVLA code check so to get your DVLA code check, you just need to go on to the DVLA website with your national insurance number and your driving license and bring it in. If you can print that off before you come in, that makes it a little bit quicker when you do get here. But if not, as long as you bring your national insurance number, we can do it all in, all when you arrive here. All right, thanks very much. If you've enjoyed this week's video, don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to click subscribe. Check out my Patreon page and have a look at my other videos. Thanks very much and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.